Battle is brewing in neighborhoods across Florida as homeowners and vacationers clash on quiet neighborhood streets. ABC Action News reporter Sarah Hollenbeck shows you the one loophole a Pinellas County community is using to crack down on rowdy renters and why it could inspire changes across the state. You know you're being invaded. Every time cars pull up to the house next door, Flash Gordon Williamson shudders. I mean, it's upsetting us every day of our lives, which is really not a way to live. He's watched his tranquil Indian Rocks Beach neighborhood turn to chaos as up to 20 people check into a 1500 square foot home. And while the vacationers party, he feels like a prisoner in his own home. We're being run out of our houses, and that's really frustrating. Now, Indian Rocks Beach leaders have a new plan. Florida law prohibits them from cracking down on short-term vacation rentals, but a loophole allows them to require every home posted on sites like Airbnb to get a business license. Then hold those homeowners accountable for trash, noise, and parking issues. Bill Thomas worries the new rules will punish responsible homeowners like himself. This is a great way for people to be able to manage and keep their homes. Thomas is retired and rents two bedrooms in his home as a way to make ends meet. Maybe 2% of the people are abusing it, but 98% are not. And so you're suffering with the 98%. Indian Rocks Beach leaders are meeting with city officials across Florida right now, brainstorming ways to take back their quiet streets. I just need it to end. In Indian Rocks Beach, I'm Sarah Hollenbeck, ABC Action News.